Wow, check this out. Theta is starting to break out, continuing to break out, I should say. If you have some time, highly recommend watching the video I put out earlier. Um, about a couple hours ago, I put out an extensive Theta video, so definitely check it out. Um, this video here is just to say, hey, look, everything that was said in the last video has just been confirmed. Why? Because the weekly chart and the two week chart have confirmed a breakout massive engulfing candle right here this candle right here after back testing the bull market support band for two four six weeks engulfing breakout above all of these highs at the same time you have an inverse head and shoulders right here and continue to develop, uh, develop the right shoulder, which we just have completed it. Now we are on our second green candle above the breakout candle. So major, major accomplishment. If you're a Theta holder, big, 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 big deal. And we've been talking about this for a while. So, I mean... Here's the weekly chart here. Look how beautiful that is. And now we got that nice breakout. So what does this mean? Well, most likely, this is wave one, this is wave two, and now we're in wave three. So let's go. Now again, going to the daily chart, uh, let's go down to the 12 hour chart. Here's what we want to see on the 12 hour chart. So we still got a lot of time. That's the thing. Um, we got 10 hours to go. We want to see it close above here. So we got, we still got a little work to do uh, on the lower time frames, like the 12 hour and the daily, right? So the daily, we really want to see the daily chart close above this right here. If we can close above that, um, boom. So yeah, it's couldn't ask for anything more beautiful. I mean, this was perfect. I mean, my last video, I said, hey, look, we could do a little cup and handle here and then continue higher. Or we're just going to continue rocking it. So we're breaking out, continuing to break out. Um, the, the real fun is when you zoom out and uh, look at the, uh, the two-week chart here. Take this off. So, and look at this. If I zoom, if I make it bigger here, you could see we are approaching the close for this. So we're sort of right in that uh, that threshold here. So we're in that in this uh, in this breakout zone. So we got this breakout. Now we just have one more to go. And then it would be a full on breakout from this range. So you can see the range is slanting, right? this uh, downwards sort of channel, right? We broke out of that channel. So horizontal, we broke above that and now approaching the second horizontal. So it's not gonna happen overnight. It could, it could happen in two seconds. It can happen in an hour. It can happen in a week. It can happen in a month. You don't know. The important thing is, um, you know, we could come down and we can back test this area here, back test it, then go like this, and then continue higher. There's a whole host of different ways it can go down. One, two, three, four, or I'm sorry, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, right? Or one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, or I'm sorry, a cup, and then a more of a, a methodical handle, and then go. 
It, it just depends. The important thing is we broke above this and this. So now we're in this gray zone. So, um, yeah, it's looking really good. And, uh, you know, if you look at total three, it already succeeded in doing that. You can see here, it broke above this lower area right here and then this area here. So it had a little gray zone and let's see how it responded. So it took approximately three weeks. So here we go. Uh, we broke above, um, right here and then uh you know we're here and then the next candle look at that look what happened on the next candle we actually came down to back test before going higher so that's an interesting uh interesting look i mean it looks almost identical to theta right so you can see we broke out we back tested this wick right here then we continued to break out and we got the close right so it took three weeks and then what happened then once we broke out we had another engulfing candle we came down we back tested and then now we're continuing higher right so what is that what is that that is a one two three four five and that's part of the third wave which is one two all of this is three we're gonna get four and then five right so it look like this one, two, maybe three gets really extended. Maybe it gets up here. We have a four and then a five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know where it's going to go. It can land here. It can land here. It can land here. Or we can break out. It's, it's very hard to know what happens in these retracement levels. That's where legends will be made. And that's where people will lose everything. Right. So for me, I'm just a hodler. I don't care if we come down here, whatever we we go rise, crash, retrace. We come down for reaccumulation. What does that mean? We reaccumulate. That's what it means. And then you go up. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So theta fuel, same thing. Let's see what theta fuel. Look at theta fuel. It also had a breakout on a two week chart from this zone in here. Now, it doesn't have a full breakout yet because that needs to occur in here. So theta is working to get into its gray zone in here. It already broke out of this. So we're on our way. One, two, let's get three. Or if it's an A, B, C, let's get C. Whatever it is, we it looks like it needs to continue going higher. Just look at chain link. It's the same thing. We had our base down here and we broke out. Same thing with theta, right? We have our base down here and now let's break out. So it could take time, like I said, we'll see. Um, so yeah, that was just a quick update there on, on theta um, and theta fuel, same thing. Um, remember, we've been talking about it since down here. Why cough, accumulation, spring, grab liquidity, continue higher, break above bull market support band, back test. Remember all the videos I came out here. This is a good thing. We're back testing the bull market support band. Boom, we get follow through. One of the ideas was this is an A, B, C, then we go, or it was a rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways, then we go, or it was simply a one, two, and three, or an A, B, C. So we didn't need to do this to get this. We didn't need to do this to get this. Instead, we just went up because that's how Theta roll. So yeah, so we got it. We uh, we got that taken care of. And that was the big major milestone, right? So now since we got that, we work on this. Once we get this, which is about $1.53, which is like not that far away. I mean, look at that. Look at this. We're at $1.49 now. Almost a dollar fifty. Look at that. So once we get uh once we in two more weeks, or let's zoom into the weekly chart. Or uh, let's go to the three day chart. Let's see here. So the three day chart, you know, the close is way up here, dollar sixty. 
It's okay. Go back to the weekly chart. Uh, the close is at right at about a dollar sixty six. No problem. So between a dollar fifty and a dollar seventy, just say that. So we're almost at a dollar fifty now. So once we break this, um, well, first of all, since we broke this, definitely confident now in the retracement because if you've been following this channel, I've been calling. We've been calling for, for a retracement for the longest time. The longest time. Right in here. And uh, it's potentially starting to happen now. So we got through the first line, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. So, you know, it, it takes time. Some altcoins are already up here. Like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is already in this area. So as Bitcoin does this, that's when Theta can catch up. Right. Because a lot of times, you know, most I mean, all the time, really, Bitcoin goes first, then it goes sideways. As it's going up, Theta is going sideways. As Bitcoin stalls out and goes sideways, that's when Theta catches up because people are rotating their coins constantly. Right. So we'll see. We'll see how uh, the weeks and. Uh, the weeks uh, progress, but basically we accomplished it, and that was the major thing. So now we need to accomplish what? Dollar sixty-six. So now, if you zoom out a little bit, you can see this is a cup and handle, right? I'm sorry, uh, inverse head and shoulders. And then you take this here, and then you put that there. Uh, let's see. Uh, and that comes in about a dollar or two I'm sorry 265 270 so once we can crack that then this is our new zone up in here right up in there once we crack that then this is our new zone up in here right up so this cluster right here and this cluster right here if we can break this then that is a signal for new all-time high on the horizon. So we got one, two, three areas to go through, and we're there. So I'm not saying that's going to happen, but um, take one thing at a time. So, um, yeah, let's see how this week goes. Now, remember, we, we went up quite a bit. I mean, you can see this is the weekly chart, right? So you have one green candle. Two green candle, three green candle, four green candle. Eventually, you're going to get a big red candle. So when does that red candle happen? It could happen this week. It could happen next week. It, it doesn't matter because this candle is the important candle right here. That is the candle that broke us out. That's the important candle. So if this red candle wants to come down and backtest $1.25, $1.30, that's fine. It, then, you know, that's what it needs to do. And the bull market support band, it can even come down and test that again and then continue higher. Or we can continue higher, then pull back. It really depends. So we'll see how the momentum starts to shift. We'll see how it starts to react uh, during the, the, the week because it's still Sunday. Uh, at least where I'm living at Sunday. It could be Monday on the other half of the world. Uh, I'm in California, so, you know, I'm... The last one to go to sleep and the last and the last one to wake up. Well, just about. Um, not to mention like Hawaii, I think, and Alaska. They, I think, Alaska is like the the last frontier. You know, it's the it is, but it's the last time zone, right? And then I think Russia is the first time zone. And uh, but anyway, so yeah, we got this in the books. And now we set our sights to $1.65, $1.66. Not saying it's got to happen this week, but it there's a good chance we could. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Thank you, guys. I will, just a quick update here. I will catch you guys uh, sometime, maybe tomorrow uh, or Tuesday. So, all right. Cheers. Oh, and don't forget, 
If you guys could, that would be awesome. Leave a like and a subscribe and a comment. It would be amazing. And remember, this is not financial advice. This is just... Um, what is this? This is just speculation. And it just happens to, to be correct. <laughs> so let's keep it rolling. Okay. Bye.